Welcome back to DKPittsburghSports.com. You're listening to Versus. Last week, I vanquished Chris, <laughs> Chris Carter on Versus, the inaugural Versus show. This week, I'm sitting down with Chris Bradford. I'm Dale Lally, of course, and uh, we're going to go through some topics. In case you, uh, haven't, you didn't catch last week's show, uh, we're going to have some random topics. We haven't seen these topics, and we're going to discuss them and uh, figure out what we think of these topics. Uh, if you could go ahead and give us the first one. Don't vanquish me. I won't vanquish you. Brister versus Tom Zack. Brister versus Tom Zack. Go ahead, Chris. I'm taking, I am going to take <laughs> Mike Tomzak. I thought he was the better uh, backup quarterback. I thought he was uh, a little more talented uh, maybe than, than Bus- Bubby Brister. I think Bubby had a very short uh, span here in Pittsburgh. I think Tomzak, uh, a little bit better era maybe for the Steelers in the late 90s. I'm going to go with Bubby Brister, and I, here's why. The 89 playoffs, when, the, when he led the Steelers uh, in that improbable run in 89. Uh, I disagree with you. I think, I think Brister was the more talented quarterback. Uh, I think the problem with Bubby Brister was that he spent too much time right here down the street from us on, running Chauncey's. around on the, yeah running around Station Square and not enough time in his playbook. Uh, he, very talented quarterback, big arm, all that stuff, but he just didn't have it between the ears. He still thinks that the uh, the three rumors out here are a lake. So that's that's kind of where I, you're going I, with Bubby. I, Brister. I think I think I just got vanquished. I, <laughs> vanquished. I, I mean, Bubby Brister, I think, kind of had that uh, kind of. Uh, Cajun kind of Terry Bradshaw He's the kind of yeah, he was kind of uh, kind of absent minded. <laughs> uh, that's our that's that topic. What's keep Number bringing him here? Let's go. Sprinkles versus Jimmy's. Sprinkles versus Jimmy's. Jimmy's. You're going Jimmy's. Well, I'm not a big fan of either one. I, I hate to say it. You know what? I my daughter puts them on her ice cream all the time, and they call them sprinkles out here back home in the Philadelphia area. It's Jimmy's. So, Jimmy's. Yeah, I, I, I don't, again, I don't eat either one. It's just extra sugar, and since I can't really eat the sugar, I, I don't mess with it. They do but, nothing for me. They, they have no taste. Yeah, they? they have no taste. I've, I've eaten them before, and it's just like, it, okay, it, I'm adding color to my ice cream, but sprinkles or Jimmy's? I've, I've heard it called both. I Yeah, I've heard both. I think one is a little more uh, regional. Jimmy's, I think, is an Easter, Eastern Coast thing, East Coast thing. Uh, sprinkles, yeah, I, I just don't get the point in them because they don't have any flavor. I think you win that one. Cheerleaders versus mascots. Cheerleaders versus mascots. <laughs> oh boy, this is easy. <laughs> um, neither. No, I, I'll tell you what. If I ha- if I have to pick between one or the other, uh, and you have to have one, the, the NFL comes in or, or whoever your, your league is says you have to have either a mascot or cheerleaders. I'm going cheerleaders because I'll tell you what, those mascots are slappy. Slappy yeah. as the day is long. Yeah. You know, I say this and I have a daughter. So. <laughs> you know, I think but like there, there's cheerleaders there's and then cheer- there's, there's cheerleaders. what the NFL does right. with it, which is. What the NFL does with cheerleaders to me isn't really cheerleading. That's sort of like what you see. At, These aren't the USC cheerleaders in their, in their nice white pristine uniforms. Look like they step right out of the 50s. Yeah. Like even college, I think, is OK. But what the NFL thing is, it's, you know, it's not really cheerleading. I'm going to have to lean towards mascots because I, you know, if it's a good mascot, I'm talking Look, about. I was, I was in Carolina, no, Jacksonville, when Sir Purr yeah. jumped on a live football. He should have been shot on the spot. There are two mascots, maybe, that I think win this for me is, you know, the San Diego Chicken and the Philly Fanatic. Those were two great mascots. You know, all the other ones kind of, you know, suck, I guess. But uh, <laughs> that's a tough debate, mascots or cheerleaders. But I'm going to have to go with the Philly Fanatic and the fact that I have a daughter. I can't go with cheerleaders. Pancakes versus waffles. Pancakes versus waffles. Ooh. Belgian waffles. I'll, I'll take waffles usually. I think you have to go with the waffles, and here's why. They've got the grooves that hold all the syrup in them. That's It's cake. perfect. The waffle is the perfect breakfast food. Yeah, and they're not as they're a little bit lighter than uh, pancakes. Pancakes to me always feel heavy, especially in the morning. Uh, I like both, but if I have had a preference, I'm definitely going to go with the waffles. Particularly those big, thick Belgian kind that have like that butter, that thicker butter, yeah, whatever you call that. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Now, waffle fries, not so much, but waffles, absolutely. Indiana Jones versus Tomb Raider. Indiana ver- Jones versus the Tomb Raider. Uh, considering I've never seen Tomb Raider, I'm going to go Indiana Jones all day. Harrison Ford, never, can't go wrong there. Well, you know, Tomb Raider was Angelina Jolie at the height of her powers. 
I did. I do remember the pictures, <laughs> the still pictures of it. Never saw the movie. I think it was a U2 song, Elevation. I think that was part of the soundtrack to that. Angelina Jolie was hot back in the day, and I think they did a remake of that recently. They did. They just did a, uh, with a, some younger. I didn't see that one. The only thing that ruins it for Indiana Jones for me was the last one. The one what the Connery? hell was that? Was Crystal that Sean Skull. Yeah, no, it's yeah, it just... Awful. Yeah, okay. I mean, like, like all franchises, it did jump the shark, but the first two movies I thought were outstanding. Were fantastic, yeah. Yeah, so to me, it's Indiana Jones. There we go. That's a wrap. Uh, I'd say we, uh, we we agreed a lot Yeah, we're on not, most things. Well, I think with you and Carter, there might be a little bit of an age difference. We're a little bit closer in age. That's so maybe, true. So maybe we think alike. Great minds think alike. And if you have some comments about who won this round of verses or just the topics that we talked about in general, put it in the comments section of this installment of Versus. We'll be back on DK Pittsburgh Sports with more stuff coming right up.